Hello everyone, in the next video from Ultimate General Civil War and we are back to Union campaign last time we've completed the minor battle which was called the Logan's Crossroad as far as I remember and now it's about time to replenish and rearm our troops before the next grand battle which is Battle of Shiloh but first as I've said, let's jump to, to our units, uh, we have to replenish them, assign new new men, maybe we'll also switch some, some weaponry if we have enough fans. So as you can see, we have plenty of promotions and one uh, wounded commander, or dead. I don't remember, is he dead or wounded? Let me take a look. Marcus Peace, he's wounded, okay, so he will recover uh, sooner or later. Uh, but for now, let's uh, jump back to 2nd Corp, 1st Division and Infantry Brigade under Lieutenant Colonel Clinton Anderson. Command. Mm. Okay, uh, we have promotion, uh, so we can assign trade. And I'm pretty sure we will select discipline training because of morale, which is quite important factor uh, during the during the battles. So we are selecting that trait, uh, beautiful. Now we need to assign commander for um, Peace Infantry Brigade. Uh, we can select from Lieutenant Colonels. Okay, this is this is nice. I think we will select uh, Charlie McGuinness. Um, 2.5 thousand, that's the cost of that uh, gentleman. So let's select him, let's apply. And also, uh, now we have we can select the trait. Of course, we will go for discipline training. Boom. Uh, next is cavalry brigade under Lieutenant Colonel Floyd Cabell Command. Mm, let's select trait. Here we have one additional, uh, which is horseback riding, stamina plus ten, efficiency plus five, and mounted speed plus ten percent. And Honestly, I feel like this is interesting trade, but I've noticed that our cavalry is quite uh, is quite good in terms of stamina and its speed. So I don't think I need really additional bonus for stamina and speed. I, I definitely uh, pu put a lot of emphasis on on morale, which is a crucial factor for me. By the way, warfare is about breaking enemy enemy's morale. Uh, to be honest with you, you can you can read about that in in multiple uh, books that the morale is a crucial factor. If you can crush enemies' morale, you can you can win any kind of battle, even if you are outnumbered, outgunned, or or whatever. Okay, mm next, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Johnny Buckley. That's an artillery brigade. Uh, we have also additional trade. Here we have logistics trade, and uh, frankly speaking. Uh, Based on how my artillery brigades operate, I think morale isn't a crucial factor because most of the time artillery brigade is protected by the infantry brigade in front. Uh, I feel like logistics, which gives us plus 50% more ammunition, is is an awesome trait. Uh, in terms of in terms of artillery, I feel like logistics and the available ammunition is a very crucial factor we can you can see that even in those minor battles we run out of ammunition by having a lot of supplies available so we'll go for uh, logistics this time boom and i think we'll uh, repeat the pattern uh, in the second division here though uh, it's it's interesting because infantry brigade is commanded by colonel sydney merritt he's a colonel this is really, really nice. By the way, what's that? Show shows how many battles your unit has fought and its performance. Okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's select trait, and we have, of course will select discipline training, like always. Boom. Great, uh, Mr. Wilcox. Oh, you are you are close to to next promotion. Uh, but for now, we cannot assign you any additional trait. Either way, it is highly, highly or moderately experienced unit at that point. Let's go to Cavalry Brigade under Ronald Drake, uh, Colonel 
colon Ronald Drake command. We will select uh, trait. We will select also discipline training. Endurance course? No, it's it's not worth it. Okay. And artillery brigade under Lieutenant Colonel Craig Smith command. We will select logistics. Boom. Okay, that's done. And now the next part is to replenish troops. And let me take a look what's the cost of doing so. Oh god, that's gonna be expensive. Okay, so for now let's uh Let's assign additional 300 men. The cost is 7,000. Oh, that's gonna hurt us. Whew. We also have troops uh, here in the first corp. Uh, maybe before we, we assign a man in second corp. Uh, okay. Um, let's stay in second corp and first let's let's uh, assign uh, troops uh, for artillery. 46 men, one additional gun. What about two additional guns? 15? Okay, let's go for 15 guns. Uh, then Smith Artillery Brigade will do the same. The cost is low, so, so we can afford it. Perfect. Now, mm, that's a Cavalry Brigade. Kapal, you are using Colt M1855. Up to 350 men. What's the cost of doing so? That should be quite quite affordable yeah 2.4 thousand 47 men uh, we also have weaponry available so let's do it uh, now for 350 uh, in case of drake we have 375 but we don't have enough weaponry to well we have we can we can replenish them up to four 400 men uh, let's do so then why not the cost is very low so boom Okay, so that part is done. Now I'm thinking about assigning additional 500 men for uh, for Cabal Cavalry Brigade. Let's do so. 3.6 thousand. That's the cost. Yes. Still quite cheap. Okay, perfection. Uh, now let's uh, replenish McGuinness uh, Infantry Brigade up to 1,000 men for now. Cost is 2,000. Okay, let's click. We'll do the same for Colonel Sydney Merritt Infantry Brigade, 11 men. It's not th th that shouldn't be a huge cost here. Yeah, 254 dollars, yes, pretty cheap. And now let's go back to First Corp, and let's add assign additional 200 men uh, for each Infantry Brigade, and let's see how it's going to look like. Whew! Jeez. Cost is high, 7,000 for additional 200 men. And we still have Springfield in our armory, okay. Uh, let's go back to Lieutenant Kelly Walton, uh, Infantry Brigade. Jesus. 7.6 thousand, okay. It's accepted. And then we have Lieutenant Colonel White Scales uh, Artillery Brigade. One additional gun, please. 4,000, whoa, whoa. So no, 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 we will wait. Uh, let's go back to Elmer Stockton Infantry Brigade, additional 200 troops. Uh, here the cost is lower because of the experience, only half of it. Uh, so 3.2 thousand dollars. Boom. Uh, and then Lieutenant Colonel Alfred Forno Infantry Brigade, additional 200 troops at your disposal. 3.3 thousand. Okay, beautiful. We have 63 thousand left. So now we go to second corp and we do the same for Anderson, McGuinness, Merritt and Wilcox Infantry Brigade. So additional 200 men. Boom. Now Mr. McGuinness, our fresh commander, the cost is 8,000. Jeez. 49,000 uh, still left, almost 50,000. Additional 200 troops over here to Sydney Merritt Infantry Brigade. Let's apply. Perfect. And to Wilcox. Additional 2,000 men. And we are down to 34,000. Okay, that's still plenty of of money. And we can also ask government for, for additional money. 75,000. Hmm. Well, that's, that's a lot of money. 
we also have to think about the supplies which will be uh, highly needed dur dur during the next battle let me take a look at career very quickly we could increase army organization the next level will give us two corps and three divisions per corp oh wow one additional uh, division per corp that's a lot of additional troops uh well that could work out i think i could could create fresh troops uh, with the amount of uh, money i have right now we can as well go to well first of all, all let's go to armory Let's sell uh, those farmer uh, rifles, we don't need them. Reboard ri uh, farmer rifles as well, so additional 5,000, that's a lot. Uh, for skirmishers, we could, we could sell them, I don't know whether we need them. Do I want to create skirmishers uh, troops? Hmm. Same for cavalry. Here I have Sharps model 1855. And I also have Cook and Brother. Mm, I usually equip my my cavalry with with sabers. Also, we have three 12 pounder hobbiters. Okay, so for now I'm not going to sell it. I'm just curious how yeah, that would give us 8.8 thousand by selling Sharp's model 1855. I could consider it sold off. Uh, I definitely want to sell it, I need it. And now Cook and Brother. Uh, this is solid weapon, but it's worse than Sharp's model. We can sell it, we don't need it. Okay. Yes, skirmishers can use also Sharp's model 1855. Uh, fair enough. So, let's go to battle map. We will we will check uh, Grand Battle of Shiloh and what we should expect during that battle. First, let's read correspondence. Captured message, dear Mr. President. Please be informed that our corps is recuperating after the Battle of Crossroads and will soon be able to advance and again face the army of General Jakob Fraser. If we are steadily supplied with men and ammunition, I strongly believe that we can beat the enemy back. Lieutenant General Sean Pound. And another capture, ma captured message. After the Battle of Crossroads, the Yankees have become stronger in your area. 4,900 fresh recruits will be allocated to your army in the next days. Major General Leslie Manson. And here we have uh, Battle of Shiloh. Of course, there are some uh, traits which... Uh, first trait um, reduces enemy morale by 10%. This is, this is a very nice trait. I love it. Uh, and the other trait uh, reduces enemy army size by 5%. That's not a lot, but still additional 5% is is really cool. So let's start the battle. We will of course uh, switch back to camp. I just want to see how many troops we are facing. Okay, so 4 corps, 6 divisions, 41 brigades and 38,000 soldiers. 112 guns. That's a lot of troops. And uh, we will get... Uh, Additional 4,000 troops. Mm. Bruce, Hazen, Ammon. Oh, you are using reboard farmer rifles. Interesting. Terrell, Kirk, Rosso, and Gibson. So those are our supporting forces uh, provided by the AI. Okay. This is yeah. This is this is fine. This is fine. 40,000. Let me take a look what will happen if I assign two of my corps. Okay, we are outnumbered by 10,000 troops. Wow. Uh, I feel like we definitely need uh, the third division per, per corp. So let's go back to camp. Oh, we are also outgunned. 63 to 112 guns. Dear God. Yeah, let's go to camp. Let's increase army organization then uh, by one. So we will get the third division per corp. We'll apply. Boom. Now we have it. Mm, let's uh, create additional third division. The problem is, of course, morale 
uh, and the experience of that uh, that uh, division. Mm, I do not expect high combat value of them, unfortunately. Okay, for now let's create thousand men. Thirteen thousand dollars. That's the cost of creating single infantry brigade. That's a lot. Anyway, one more infantry brigade. That's another thirteen thousand dollars. Shush. Okay, and we are left with fourteen thousand dollars. I think I will ask government for additional seventy-five thousand. We have a lot of men still, so yeah, money is my priority. We'll order. We we've received that eighty-nine thousand to to our disposal, at our disposal. Now the next, I would like to artillery brigade. What's the cost of it? Oh, we don't have enough six pounders. We have twelve pounders howitzers and twelve pounder Napoleon. Mm hmm. Also 10, pound, 10 pounder ordnance. With fast reload and exceptional accuracy, it is the most widely used rifle cannon of the war. Mm, it has slower damage but a uh, bit higher reloading and higher efficiency. 10 pounder parrot. It's also efficiency with the cost of damage. Pff, well, yeah, well, it's a tough choice. A 12 pounder Napoleon. Napoleon, I really like that that gun. So for now, let's cancel it. Eighty-nine thousand. We can switch Lieutenant Colonel Victor Vaughan artillery from six pounder to twelve pounder Napoleon. The cost is twenty-three thousand. That's a lot. Uh, now there is a question: Is it worth it? Or maybe it's better to assign more troops per per brigade. Well, artillery is the king of the battlefield, so I should go this way. On the other hand, I feel like the more troops we have here, the better. I don't see that it affects our statistics in any way. Like, for example, here where efficiency drops because of, of our commander, not enough experience to handle so many guns. So, yes, I think I will assign a b more first more troops per uh, my experienced infantry uh, brigades. Additional 300 men cost 13,000. I have four of them. Which in total gives me 52,000 if I do so. Okay. Is it acceptable? What about 100 less men? Okay, that, that costs less. Let's, let's give it a try. Uh, let's apply 200 yes, additional men. Uh, same for Walton. And let me take a look at one more thing. What if I assign rookies? Uh, it doesn't hurt so bad. Okay, now at that point it hurts. So up to... Okay, now it, it hurts me. It really hurts me. No, we, we want veterans. So 200 additional veterans. Boom. We'll do the same for Stockton and Forno. To 200. Uh, let me. Oh, here it's a bit cheaper. Okay, perfect. So here we can even assign those additional troops, 100 troops. Let's do it. I guess it, the situation will be very similar for Alfred Forno Infantry Brigade. Yes, it is. So 8,300 additional men. Boom. Now let's go to Second Corp. And since we have quite experienced unit here, we would like to achieve the same. Uh, let's see, 200 additional men, the cost is 7,000, perfect. Anderson, now McGuinness, 200 additional men, the cost is 7.7, .7, almost 8,000, okay. Mm, Merit, Infantry Brigade, 200 additional men. Yeah, the, the, the difference between 400, uh, 200 and 300 additional men is, is drastic, it's really drastic. Okay, so only 200 
and Wilcox the same. Oh, this is highly experienced unit. Oh, well, that's gonna hurt us. Yeah, 8,000. Okay, boom. Uh, we are left with $23,000 still. What we would like to do. How many soldiers we have now? Around 15,000 soldiers. That's not... It's still less than, than the enemies will have. And I'm slightly worried about that. Huh. What, I, what can we do? What if I assign additional troops for uh, Alan Scales Infantry Brigade? Uh, additional 500 men for the cost of 5,000. Uh, let's go with first 200 additional men for both infantry brigades. Okay. And uh, now let's go to second corp. And here I would like to also create the third division. Unless I can, well, I, I guess I cannot afford uh, artillery brigade here. I could afford, I could afford though, uh, skirmishers, look at the cost. Well, I don't need to pay for, for Sharp's model, so I can create 500 men for zero, zero dollars. This is always the, well, the combat ready unit. Might be a good idea to, 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 to do so. I have also 373 hunter rifles. Oh, it's terrible uh, in terms of reloading. I think the, mm, I put emphasis on, on, on reloading speed in case of skirmishers. This is highly mobile unit and uh, the biggest the biggest factor is in, in, the, in, in their terms is, uh, is speed. So, mm, of course this is quite quite expensive weapon. Oh, in general those uh, skirmishers rifle are, are very expensive. Uh, but all, all also th those are additional troops, so why 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 I why I shouldn't do that? I think this is a good idea. Uh, hmm. What else we would like to do? Hmm. I don't think it's worth it spending so 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 much money on 100 additional veterans. What's the cost of creating division? Four thousand. Uh huh. Wow, that's a dilemma now. How many how many troops I can do I can assign by doing so? Uh, let me create then. Let's let's find out. I have fourteen thousand left. Let's create infantry brigade. Thirteen thousand. Whoa, 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 whoa. The cost is high. Do we have any other weapon? No. Not really. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What to do now? Okay, let's first let's switch back to first corp. Uh, let's select those skirmishers. I would like to create the unit of you, equip, and how many of you I would like? Well, maybe the creation of big unit, 500 men, makes sense. They will represent high combat value with with so many troops and and solid rifles. Uh, at least they can try to hold the line. So let's create it. And also we can create one more skirmishers, uh, well, they are not called brigade, I guess, but we can treat them as a brigade. Uh, we can assign them what? Oh, we could even, wait a second, 500. No, we cannot afford for Sharp's model. We could assign for Hunter. Uh, I will decrease it down to 300. Man, and let me take a look. Sharps model. The cost is nine thousand. Okay. Uh, what about hunter? We have, we have a lot of hunters in armory, yes, so I can even assign three hundred fifty men, and select the hunter, hunter guns. Of course, their speed is slower, unfortunately. Yes, sir. But uh, still, they can. 
uh, at least support our troops, provide, I don't know, flanking fire, provide some kind of reconnaissance. So, so why not to do so? I'm just worried that the game will uh, somehow force me to use the 3rd division instead of 2nd or 1st division and defending some some point without artillery support that's going to be that's going to be challenging but either way let's create those skirmishers uh this is not perfect division composition uh, they lack organic artillery support uh so yeah th this is not something i would like to i would like to achieve uh but now i'm trying to consolidate as many troops as possible so let's go to Infantry Brigade of Lieutenant Colonel Alan Scales and let me take a look what would be the cost of assigning additional 300 men. 3.5 thousand. We can afford it. And we will do the same for Lieutenant Colonel Kelly, Kelly Loomis. Okay, perfect. Also they are starting with some experience, so this is, this is awesome. Okay, and we are left with 6.8 thousand dollars. Could we could we buy some weaponry? Well, we could request uh, Springfield M1855. Two thousand of them, uh, and by doing so, we could create additional. Two infantry, two infantry brigades equipped with those Springfields. I think the cost should be should be zero if we have some 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 kind of weaponry in in the armory. Uh, I guess so. That that's how it should work, right? Mm, this is a great question. I'm not entirely sure. I could risk it though, and could request those those, those Springfields. It's the seven reputation for doing so. I have twelve points to spend. Why not? To, why not doing so? This is always two thousand additional men. Oh, uh, let me do so. Will you request those Springfield M eighteen fifty five? We'll order it. Perfect. Now let's create infantry brigade. We will switch to M eighteen fifty five. Where are you? Here you are. Uh, and we can equip. Yes, and the cost is 2.5 thousand, so we are paying only for the commander. Okay, yeah, let's let's create so, and we'll select one more infantry brigade. We'll whoa, 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 whoa. Why brigadier general is going to to command you? Let me take a look. Let's switch to M1855. The cost is 5 thousand. Yeah, that's because the brigadier general is commanding them. Can we go to barracks? Oh, we don't have anybody in academy. Woo. Okay, so that's it. We, c we cannot do anything else. We can assign additional 500 troops equipped with those Springfields, and I think we'll do so. I don't want to assign uh, Brigadier General to, to command Infantry Brigade. Uh, we could request William Sherman or Arvin Mc McDowell but they are Brigadier Generals. I don't think it makes sense to do so. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Let's assign those additional 500 troops here, equipped with M1855 uh, Springfield rifle. Boom, and we are left with 3.9 thousand, so we will assign additional supplies. So 2,000 for First Corp, and 1,000, or even as, as much as we can for second corp and by doing so we are out of uh ammunition fans for for our for our army okay uh, what else we could do uh we cannot sell anything cavalry artillery well we could sell those 12 pounder officers are we going to use them i don't think so uh do we want to sell them for 2000 Yes, we want. We will assign additional additional supplies. So boom, 1,000 for first corp, even 2,000 for first corp. Why not? And here, those 85 dollars left. Okay, 
and that that would be it. I think we we did everything. Uh, that was uh, plenty of stuff going on, uh, plenty of uh, decisions and dilemma to uh, to resolve. But we've after 30 minutes finally achieved it. So you know what to expect the next time we will fight Grand Battle of Shiloh. And for today, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you in the next video. So once again, thank you and goodbye.